In today's video, we've got those two little words that keep every hammer up at night, united away. In the real life 0607 season, we won our first game versus Man U by a goal to nil at home thanks to a Nigel Ryokoka goal in Alan Kerbisley's first game in charge of the club. But let's see what we can do in today's episode of Bubbles on the Rise. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number two of my Bubbles on the Rise West Ham series here on the 0607 database by the Mad Scientist. As ever, I'm going to pop the link down below to Mad Scientist's Twitter so you can go and get the database for yourself and give this a go for yourselves. Um, just before we do get into the video, just want to say again, thank you everybody that has watched the first video. The numbers have been off the chart for my channel, so thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the first one, and I hope you enjoy this one as well, because like I said in the intro, it's Man United away today. Should be a very, very good game. After we've had a look at our results, I'll go and have a look at the Man U squad, so you can see some of their players from back in the day as well so let's go and check out our results right now since we was last together which was for the opening day of the season versus Sheffield United you can see there we won that game 2-0 but then after that we had a very disappointing 4-1 defeat against Wigan Emil Heskey that's a blast from the past isn't it he absolutely did us there we just couldn't get into that game but then after that, we went on a very good run. We beat Tottenham 3-2. Tevez with a couple of goals. Hayden Mullins coming off the bench to win us the game there. So he did very well there. 3-0 win against Cheltenham in the League Cup. Rotated the team. Got what we wanted. 1-1 draw against Liverpool. Should have won that game. But Jermaine Pennant got the equaliser for them. And then September. What a month September was. 2-0 win against Middlesbrough. Dean Ashton with a couple of goals. 2-1 win against Manchester City. Obviously a very different Man City to what it is nowadays. But Rio Coca and Ashton with the goals there. And then we had a 1-0 win against Watford. Watford are poor. Watford are very, very poor. So we got that win. 1-0. Nice and professional. Job done. But then three days later... We had to play them again, and we only just got past them this time. 3-2 win. Marlon Harewood getting us our third in the 89th minute to make it 3-1 at the time. But then Chris Powell got one back just to make it a bit nervy for the last few minutes. But then since then, we have had two defeats on this spin. Or sorry, we've had one defeat and one draw. It felt like a defeat, the one against Cholton, if I'm going to be honest. 4-2 loss against Portsmouth and then a 1-1 draw against Charlton. Carlos Tevez with the goal there. And if you have a look, Carlos Tevez has been doing all right for us so far this season. About one in two uh, goals for him. So five goals scored out of nine appearances. So very nice, very happy with that. And Dean Ashton is on very similar numbers. If we just have a quick look at our squad. Dean Ashton, you can see it there. Exactly the same, in fact. Five goals from nine appearances. So them two are doing very well up top alongside each other. And so let's have a look at the Man United squad. You can see it there. They are seventh in the league. We are sixth. But you can see their captain, Gary Neville. Whatever happened to him? And you can see his stats. Absolutely amazing there. Heading, marking, tackling. Mentals are just wowzers. Everything you could want from a fullback, he has pretty much got it there. Save maybe a little bit of pace, but he's 31 years old at this point, so you wouldn't expect him to be too quick. And let's go into their main squad. And you know the one you all want to have a look at. It's this fella, Cristiano Ronaldo, 21 years old. So, if you do do this database, you have got his whole career to take over. Dribbling of 20, first touch 19, finishing only 10. 
maybe if you can improve that, you can turn him into the superstar he is in real life. And physicals are flipping amazing. Flair with 20, as you'd expect. How's he been getting on? Four goals from 12 starts. Three of them in the Premier League, one in the Champions League. So not setting the world alight, but not doing too terrible either. Who else have they got? Wayne Rooney, who's apparently unhappy because he wants a new contract. That's a thing I've noticed on this database so far. I've had about three or four players come to me asking for a new contract. So I'm guessing end of the season, I'm going to be a busy boy. But yeah, Wayne Rooney, look at this. Six goals from 13 starts. 19 first starts, 15 finishing. You can you can pause the video and have a look for yourself because I don't want to go on don't want to go on too much. Uh, who else have they got that I want to look at? Skulls and Giggsy. Skulls is 31, losing a bit of his physicals at the minute, but other than that, he is still phenomenal. Uh, who else have they got? Are my coaches really saying Rio Coke is better than Skulls? My coaches want sacking. Absolutely, oh my days. Nigel Rio Coca was never anywhere near Skulls. And then Giggs on the left hand side. You can see it you can see him there. 32 years old. Still got a lot of his physicals. Still got some very, very good technicals as well. He's not scored yet this season. Q, he's gonna score. He's gonna score today, I promise you. So that is most of the man U squad. Let's go and get into our team for today. And it's going to look like this. We are sticking with the 5-1-2-2 as the game calls it. It's been doing alright for us. So I'm happy with it. We've got Green in goal. Collins, Ferdinand and Gabidon are our back three. Koncheski on the left. Tyrone Mears on the right. Maserano as a deep line playmaker. Just behind Rio Coca, who's the box to box. And Hayden Mullins is a central midfielder on support. So Pardew would be happy. Maserano and Mullins in the same team. I fixed the problem that he had. And then up top, it is, of course, our dream team. Tevez and Aston. Come on. We'll love, love a win against United today. The bookmakers obviously have got United as the favourites at evens. But we are in better form than them. As you can see, we are one place above them in the league. A win today, and we could go as high as third, which would be brilliant. So hopefully we can get that. Come on, you irons. Oh my gosh, look at this Man United team. Pretty much legends everywhere you look. Van de Sar in goal, Vidic and Ferdinand as their back in their back four. Neville on the right hand side. Skulls, Giggs, Ronaldo, Rooney. Pretty much legends everywhere. The only place they're weak is defensive midfield. You never know. Might be able to get get at them there. Let's go and get into the dressing room, and let's do the usual. Ask me, assistant. He's only set us. He's only set instructions for three of the lads, and we've got nothing to lose here. All the media give you a lot of credit lately. Uh, media give you a lot of credit. Mm, not really the right answer there, but you know what I like to do now. So let's just see if we can get anyone else motivated. Not particularly. So prediction time. I'm going to go very, very hopeful. 1-1 one, one draw. I'm really not expecting too much out of this game. 15 minutes in and we've got the first highlight. Maserano with a free kick. But it's whipped into the box and caught easily by Van der Sar. And now Zidane set up an old Peter Samichael-esque counter-attack. He's gone out wide to Mikel Silvestra, who's coming forward with the ball over the halfway line. Nobody really challenging him yet. Goes back to Ryan Giggs, who plays it forward to Silvestra, who's in oceans of space. Goes back to Giggs now, who's in a lot of space himself. Gets himself into the box, crosses it in. Ronaldo with the header, and thankfully that never looked too dangerous. 28 minutes in now, Tyrone Mears to Hayden Mullins. 
back to Mears, who crosses it in. Ronaldo, in his own box, has to head it away. Goes to Rio Coca in space, and Nigel Rio Coca, just like in real life, has given us the lead against Manchester United. What a goal this was. I suspect this was better than the one he scored in real life. And let's have a look at this. Tyrone Mears crossed it in. Ronaldo headed it away. Richardson, I said their defensive midfield was their weak spot. And so it proved to be. As Richardson gave it to Rio Coca for that volley into the back of the net. Come on, West Ham. And there you go. That's all you lot for the first half. And you can see that we are absolutely FMing Man U right now. They have had eight shots to R1, three on target to R1, 60% of the ball. By all intents and rights, they should be leading this game. But you never know. Hopefully, we can hold on. I'm going to go passionate. I'm going to go keep it up or, yeah, keep it up. Everyone's delighted. Please, please, please let us hold on to this, boys. Half an hour left to go and United are getting the ball out of their own half. Or they're trying to anyway. They go back to Edwin van der Sar, who's taking his dear sweet time in this pouring rain up in Manchester. Vidic out wide to Sylvester, who's going to go over the halfway line. And now is anybody going to close him down? Not just yet. He goes centrally back to Fletcher to Paul Scholes. Who goes back to Sylvester. They're playing some decent football now. Richardson who made the error for our goal. Goes out wide to Gary Neville. And Neville crosses the ball in. Giggs with the header. And oh I thought that was in. But thankfully it's just them making a substitution. 25 minutes left to go in the game. We're just making the one change up front. Marlon Harewood, the big muscle freak of a man. Is coming on for Dean Ashton. He's going to be a pressing forward. And that's the only change we're going to make for the minute. Might give it 10 minutes and then might bring on Lee Bowyer in place of Hayden Mullins. We'll see what happens. Please let us hold on to this. 10 minutes left to go in the game. We've made two more changes. Lee Bowyer is indeed coming on for Hayden Mullins. And I want to see what Yossi Benayoun can do from right wing back for the last 10 minutes. Please don't let that be a mistake. And now, before those subs can take effect, United have got a corner ball, but Vidic's header has harmlessly gone wide. Seven minutes left. It's all United at the minute. Richardson, with the ball, goes wide. And what on earth is happening there? Who's given away that penalty? Is that Ben Ayoun? Oh, that is Yossi Ben Ayoun, who needlessly has given away a penalty. Why did I bring him on? Why did I bring him on? Oh, my days. And apparently 15 years early, we're looking at VAR. Who's it going to be to take this? Skulls, I should think. Yes, it is. He runs up and it's in the back of the net. And Yossi Benayoun has absolutely cost us this game. Well, I've cost us this game. What an idiotic decision that was, bringing Ben Ayoun on. And now, can we please hold on for a point? As we're going to look at it, and yep, Scalzi boy, perfect penalty. Nothing anyone could have done. And now, let's go a bit more positive. Let's go attacking, and let's see what we can do. Are we going to get any more highlights? Can we please just get one chance to win this? Don't think we are. We've got one minute left. And nope. That is the full time whistle. We have absolutely shot ourselves in the foot. We didn't deserve to win that game. But I think if I'd have left Tyrone Mears on. We would have won it. And so let's have a look at the stats. 16 shots they had. 2 R 4. 6 on target. 2 R 2. 56% of the possession they had. So we're lucky to get a point. I should be happy. But we were so, so close to getting the exact same result we had in the first game against United in real life. And so let's go team talk. Um, you've proved a lot of people wrong. Yeah, they are all delighted. So now let's go and have a look at the league table. 
and then let's see where we're going to come back for the next episode. So, after that game, we are fourth in the league, which is a very good result, considering when we was at this stage, IRL, we were 16th in the league. So, we are doing absolutely brilliantly, but it would have been nice to get the win there. But let's see, when are we going to come back? I think we've got some big games coming up, if I'm not wrong, which in fact I am. We've got a few decent games, but I think... Come back for Arsenal. I think you all want to see the Arsenal team, don't you? With the likes of Thierry Henry. Who else have they got? Have they got Fabregas still? Yep. They've got Fabregas, Rosicki, Julio Baptista. What a name from the past that is. RVP still there. Jens Lehmann. Was this the year they got to the Champions League final? Or am I wrong? Or was that a couple of years later? I swear this was the year they got to the Champions League final. I'm going to have to research that after this. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Thank you to everybody who's liked the first video. The response, like I said earlier, amazing. Blew my mind. So, please carry on smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. I'll be back tomorrow with the Kings Lynn series. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the Passion for FM Facebook, website, Twitter and the Discord. Check out all that good stuff and as well as that, check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. Their details are all down below, so check them all out. They're all a really good group of lads. And yep, guys, that is me for today. I shall see you tomorrow for Kingsland Walks to the Prem. See you later.